Hi guys and welcome to Sergio's Structural Engineering channel. Just a few days ago, uh, I uploaded uh, into the uh, social network LinkedIn uh, uh, the following uh, post or topic that is shown in the, uh, the screen. Okay? Uh, I was requested by one friend of mine uh, to uh, give my opinion about uh, the transition uh, that is supposed to be uh, supposed to be developed uh, in accordance with the uh, uh, reinforced uh, reinforce concrete column schedule that is also shown in the image. As you can see, uh, there is a, it is shown a three axes of one building structure. Okay, when uh, when in in which uh, the lower part of the of the column or one story it is developed um, by a rectangular um, a circular section of fifty uh, centimeters, and then this section is converted in the in the upper story uh, uh, to a into a rectangular uh, section of seventy per twenty five centimeters. Both uh, both uh, sections of the columns, okay, uh, ha have the same reinforcement uh, uh, reinforcement layout. Uh, I mean, uh, eight a diameter twelve. Uh, in the post today, uh, I would like to discuss about the transition that, of course, was not indicated or was not detailed in the pro in the document uh, document project or any other calculation report or drawing related with the project. Uh, so we are going to go deeper in the in uh, in this transition. We are going to uh, propose. Uh, we are going to. Um, uh, let's uh, imagine uh, what could be uh, the, the the structural detail, and at the end of the day, uh, we are going to give reasons if uh, if the if, if this problem can be solved easily or uh, otherwise uh, it is um, uh, let's say very bad uh, solution and a, and a conservative and non safety solution for a building structure. So if you want to come with me, you just have to follow. So let's go on. We are started. As long as we don't have any information about the uh, detail of the structural connection that we are going to uh, study uh, deeply, um, I, the first thing I, uh, I have to do is to imagine what was the, the solution, um, uh, what was uh, the, um, the geometrical um, agreement between all the elements that merge into the joint. So, uh, if you can see at the right top corner, you can find a front view of the structural joint. Okay, so uh, in that uh, in that sketch, we can we can um, we can appreciate that uh, the upper column is wider than the uh, the lower uh, lower level column. Okay, um, that generates that is also represented and in that in those oranges oranges lines. Okay, uh, that the compression has to be uh, transformed like a bottleneck uh, that coming from a wider element and reaching to a narrow section that is uh, presented uh, by the circular section of the column. Um, that's one irregularity, that's one ir geometrical irregularity. But also we have to think about in transversal section, okay, in a perpendicular view. That is also shown in the transversal section located at the uh, 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 right uh, bottom of the sketch. As you can see there, um, the, um, the beam, uh, that is, the, is an intermediate element between the, the column with rectangular, rectangular section and the column with the circular section, um, uh, even though we don't we don't have a, uh, uh, how the building was uh, was built, but uh, you can imagine that there is an, an effective area uh, for the uh, fifty uh, centimeters circular section. So, so uh, we are in some manner uh, um, and not consider all the area to transfer correctly correctly the loads coming from the upper part of the structure. Once we have identified the geometrical uh, irregularities of the of the connection, it is time to uh, idealize uh, a strat and tie uh, uh, model uh, in order to understand how the forces uh, from the top part of the column 
it is uh, drive to the to the bottom uh, bottom circular uh, column section. So uh, you can find that uh, that scheme of forces at the right top uh, corner of the sketch. Um, uh, it is represented the, the compression loads are represented in, in red. Okay, with that arrows in red, and um, in the in green we can uh, we can find uh, uh, it is represented which are the areas of the stress fields in tension. Okay, so also uh, if you if you uh, pay attention to the to the sketch, it is drawn in blue the bending uh, moment bending moment uh, law or diagram. Um, what I was trying to bring your attention it is that uh, those uh, uh, bottleneck bottleneck behavior of the column obliged to increase the top reinforcement of the beam in the uh, in the place uh, located at the bottom uh, of the uh, the top column. Okay, so uh, we ha uh, yeah, um, we also have uh, the reinforcement due to the frame uh, frame behavior, but also we have to take into account that this uh, bottleneck has also to be balanced with additional reinforcement. And the uh, bottom right corner, uh, the concept that we explained uh, minutes ago, um, there is also a, um, an effective area uh, because they are represented in red uh, with red lines an affected area for the circular uh, column uh, section okay because the loads cannot reach to the area uh, uh, since there is no any contact between the beam and the top of the of the circular section so so um, it is a completely uh, an effective an effective uh, strewn joint configuration uh, even though in terms of uh, geometry also, we can find a configuration in terms of geometrical shapes uh, about how they are merging different uh, concrete uh, sections uh, and how they convert in the, in the same joint. We don't have to forget and we don't have to take apart what are the reinforcement layout inside those elements that converge to the same joint. Um, once again, um, uh, and it is represented in the sketch of the right corner of the of the, the screen. Um, uh, we can have an idea of how much complicated it is the transition between uh, reinforcement and rebars. It is uh, difficult to find a lap splice uh, to be developed, since uh, the circular shape of the reinforcement has no continuity with the uh, reinforcement or longitudinal reinforcement in the top of the column. So, um, and there is uh, different uh, issues related uh, with this uh, uh, irregularity uh, shapes or uh, discontinuity between uh, transversal cross sections. Okay, uh, as you can see in the in the sketch, we are obliged to end some rebars uh, in, in on hooks or hooks for that uh, area of, of an effective that the area of the circular column that is not connecting to the beam. Okay, um, um, some uh, the, the the reinforcement located at the edges of the rectangular sections cannot be lap spliced. Okay, so uh, we have to uh, uh, they have to be placed okay at the bottom of the beam, and also there could be doubts about the uh, minimum length development for this reinforcement. No, and and also. Um, um, it is uh, it is mandatory to the the, the reinforcement uh, to uh, to be uh, um, like a, to be anchored like a like a hook for those intermediate uh, intermediate rebars of the rectangular section because there is a, no, no possibility uh, to have a uh, no, lapis correctly lap space with the re longitudinal reinforcement coming for the circular uh, section so so um, well it is um, in terms of um, in terms of reinforcement layout uh, we also have doubts about the about the, the connections uh, we cannot guarantee a clear bending moment uh, transferring mechanisms uh, okay uh, between um, both column uh, with the same uh, with both column sections uh, uh, at the top and the bottom of the of the bin so once again uh, we don't uh, it is uh, not guarantee the rigid behavior of the joint and um, um, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, construction uh, there is also doubts about the uh, development length and uh, we don't have an, uh, an, a clear opportunity to lap splice uh, uh, between uh, different stories. 
So in some manner, if we study in detail the connections in terms of uh, geometrically or in reinforce uh, or about the reinforcement layout, uh, we can conclude that the solution it is uh, unconservative, not not secure, and uh, at all it is uh, it is uh, following the good practice rules that uh, we are used to, we are uh, familiar in. Uh, uh, any reinforced concrete uh, building structure. Um, uh, sometimes, uh, if the design is uh, is uh, is commanded by a person without uh, any kind of structural engineering knowledge, uh, uh, the design of the of the structure uh, can um, be um, can be uh, directed to a nonsense solution and. Um, um, uh, of course, a non-conservative. Um, um, in terms of um, architectural buildings, we are, uh, sometimes we have to say no, and if the solution, it doesn't match with an aesthetic uh, solution, uh, uh, then we have to put some kind of, of limit. No? Um, any complex solution, any difficult solution, it is an agreement between two different and opposite sides. One is the, the aesthetical, in terms of the, for the architectural design, and of course we have to preserve uh, in, uh, under any condition the structural uh, safety or integrity of the, of the construction. Uh, trying to be proactive and trying to be positive and also uh, assuming that uh, uh, the section uh, can also uh, be not squares in terms of uh, aesthetic conditions. I was uh, uh, figuring out that uh, um, if I was in the chance of that structural engineer, maybe I was proposing uh, the, the solution that is indicated at the right corner of the, of the sketch. So uh, we have an, uh, an a column uh, with, in which uh, the, the shorter size of the column can be rounded. No? It can be also a, a phone work uh, can be a phone work uh, with a, a circular section. So. Uh, that allows us uh, to have a continuity, clear continuity between the columns of the of the same grid you know, in different stories, and uh, also does uh, round corners, uh, round corners of the of the uh, bottom bottom uh, column, uh, column section uh, can be also not taken into account uh, in the calculation and to be only. Um, uh, um, display some reinforcement, minimum reinforcement in terms of sinkage or just to in terms of, of construction. Um, other good solution also that could be implemented in order to uh, increase uh, the constructability of the of the of the joint itself is to uh, generate a, a beam wider wider than the columns in uh, in, uh, in transversal section in order to uh, 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 to create an area of confinement. Okay, inside the building uh, to create uh, 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 the transition of the reinforcement and of course and a uh, lap splice because there is continuity between sections can be properly uh, properly properly developed or built on the upper uh, story of the of the joint so um, that is um, that is a, a potential solution that, uh, in my opinion, can comply with some uh, aesthetic uh, requirements and also uh, provide a uh, very, uh, very uh, safe and uh, good practice construction, uh, uh, structural joint and development of continuity in a rigid uh, joint for a, a, a structure of a building frame. We already get to the end of our journey. Uh, I hope you will enjoy the video as much as I, I did. Huh? Uh, don't forget to subscribe to uh, my, my structural channel and also to visit my LinkedIn profile where you can find a lot of contents uh, um, about construction and engineering. engineering. Also, uh, give me a like or share with your fellows and friends these contents. Uh, nothing to add uh, more today. I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.